Hello, welcome to Empress Moon Tarot 777. My name is Kimmy, and this is going to be the full moon lunar cycle reading for the sign of Cancer. Cancer, we're going to take a, a short, brief look at what's going to go on with you emotionally over these next two weeks, what's going to go on with regards to your career, and also with love. This is a very short overview, not very in-depth, and we will not have time to do an extended this time, so just be aware of that. And let's get right to it. So Cancer, all of your decks have been pre-shuffled. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. It will not it will not match everyone's situations. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Don't try to force your personal situation to match the reading. All right, Cancer, let's see what we have for you. With regards to emotions, we have the Six of Wands. Love it. Love it. Great start. Great start for you, Cancer. Beautiful. And another for emotions, we have the Five of Cups. Ooh. So you have a positive emotion and a difficult emotion. I had set the intention not to take jumper cards, so that is going back in the deck. Okay, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is with regards to your emotions, Cancer. Your emotions. Cancer. Cancer, gentleness. All right. So, Cancer, first of all, with regards to your emotions, we have the Six of Wands. So this tells me that... Um, during the next two weeks, you are going to have that overall feeling, that sense of victory, which is fantastic. Um, that sense of being admired by others. There may be somebody that you admire as well. It's just going to be this very lovely energy of feeling as if you are noticed, that you are understood, and that you are appreciated, which is wonderful. However, at the same time, it looks like you're dealing with some heartbreak. The important thing to note here, Cancer, is that love still exists in your life. There's two cups directly behind this person. But you may be feeling a lack of love. You may be feeling a sense of heartbreak because of a previous situation that may have occurred in your life. And then we also have our Knight of Pentacles. This tells me that you're, you're going to be feeling like you don't want to be vulnerable. You don't want to move forward. You just want to stay put right where you are. Um, there's a little bit of fear and trepidation associated with this card as well. You did receive gentleness. It says, be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. So this is really expressing, especially with that, the card of the Five of Cups with that feeling of heartbreak and loss. Um, it's gonna be real important that you do be gentle with yourself over that it looks like it could be a little bit of a difficult emotion so with regards to career for cancer career for cancer the king of cups the star. I like that. I love to see that. That is very positive, especially with that heartbreak card over there in emotions. And the wheel of fortune. All right. I'll take you an oracle on your career and then we'll look at career. This is just a general overview, Cancer, so I'm not severely in-depth. Love it, love it, love it. Reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. All right, let's take, it, let's take a really quick dive into your career. So we have the King of Cups. This is beautiful. This is you being strong with regards to your emotions, not allowing emotions to get the best of you in your career. Um, not being blown away by other people's emotions either, other people's actions, things of that nature. This is you remaining strong, remaining firm, remaining confident, remaining patient. Um, even if internally you're not patient and you're losing, <laughs> you're getting, you're not patient and you're losing 
losing your cool with somebody. This is still you on the outward perspective, showing that you're very strong. You're able to control your emotions. You're not, you know, you're not being swept away by something occurring um, in, with regards to your career. Because we have the Wheel of Fortune up here, I feel like these two cards go hand in hand, the Wheel of Fortune being something happening unexpectedly. So I feel like when this, this unexpected thing occurs with regards to your career over the next two weeks, Cancer, this is you saying, okay, I'm not gonna be blown away by this change. I'm not gonna be blown away by this circumstance that occurs kind of out of nowhere. Instead, I'm gonna be in control. I'm gonna stay strong. It's beautiful, Cancer. And then we have the star star you having wishes goals dreams you know desires for growth within your career as well as you receiving healing through your focus on work over this very strong feeling of loss that you have so healing through work like when you pour yourself into something else you're able to get out of your head out of your emotions and be able to focus then we have reaching your destination. This is you moving towards your goals, Cancer. It says your light is shining brightly. You are admired. You have this victory card. You are admired. People are recognizing the work that you're doing and you're going places. Beautiful, Cancer. Love it. Now let's look at love for you. Love for Cancer during this lunar cycle. We have the Five of Wands. Five of Wands could be an internal battle. It could be battling with another person. Um, let's see what else we get. Love for Cancer during the lunar cycle. Four of Wands. That's interesting. And the Four of Cups. All right. So, um, Cancer. Those are some conflicting energies. <laughs> uh, yang. Yang. Okay. So, Cancer, this is saying that with regards to love, you need to kind of step into your masculine energy. You need to be strong. You need to be confident. You need to show that confidence to your loved one. Um, this is not saying that you need to be combative, just that you need to be confident. Kind of harness that masculine sort of take charge kind of energy. Um, looks like with this five of wands, there may be some sort of internal battle, internal struggle over a loved one that you can't seem to get off of your mind in this particular deck it's it's the person is very very focused on a love interest a love offer that may have come in you may be trying to determine because the love card lover's card did present itself but because i had set my intentions to take the top card i chose not to take it however i felt it was significant for me to note for your reading so this could be you trying to make a decision about a long-term partner, either somebody that you're already in a long-term committed relationship with or somebody that you would like to be in a long-term committed relationship with. Um, our Four of Wands is also an elevated status within a relationship. So uh, it's possible that you could already be very deeply connected with another individual and having some communication struggles between the two of you as well as somebody feeling like they're kind of being ignored or not being recognized by their partner. So this is kind of a tough energy for you, Cancer, but you can get out of this. Remember to be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for the positive qualities in your partner or your prospective partner. You know, look at their positive qualities moving forward and do be confident. Allow your confidence side to show. So, Cancer, that's our overview for the next two weeks. It's not an in-depth. It's just an overview. I hope it will be of help to you. Have a beautiful rest of the week, and I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye.